gorgeous apple tree over here. This guy's giving himself a little bit of apple. Look at this. This is a huge apple tree. See the apples all the way up there. Can't even see the top of the tree. That is a big apple tree. Might be the biggest apple tree I've ever spotted. Yeah. These are nice looking apples. Goes from these people's backyard right out to the street here. They certainly don't have to shop for apples. Unless they're looking for honey crisps. Get all those apples. So many apples, in fact. It goes right around the street lamp here. This apple sticking out right in front of the Shaw Crescent sign. It's apples, apples, apples. Huh. Certainly no shortage of apples here in Canada. Just taking a little trek. Just taking a little trek. It's a congregation of squirrels over here. Congregating. It's a really interesting house over here. It's green and red. It's like something you'd find in the middle of the woods. Hey Gemma. This house looks like something you'd find in the middle of the woods. This one right here. This one looks a little similar to Tina's house in Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, right there. Gemma's gonna lead me down a nice path here. Taking in summer while she goes on. All right, let's go. chipmunk up there on the path. You can see him ahead of me right in the middle of the path. Oh, he's heading down the path. Oh. Thanks, big pooch. You scared the little squirrel. Chipmunk. <laughs> there he is right there. Little chippy. Hard to see it. He's right in the middle of the screen there. Right under that rock. These interesting rocks over here. up to a giant public pool up here. Okay, it's not giant, it's a regular public pool, but Gemma likes this path. Nice and shaded, eh? to stay on my left side there, Gemma. Who is there? Ew. Weird tree things on the side of the tree. It's gross. <laughs> yep. Sometimes we're not doing things that are highly eventful. Sometimes we're just taking a little walk, looking for a little nature. It's a little chippy. It's right there. In the cracks of that rock. He's sitting right there. He's so tiny. It's hard to see him. Look at him down there. It's right there. Gemma's pulling me one direction and I'm saying, no, no. I'm going to film this chipmunk. Bye, you buddy. YouTube's going to be seeing you, pal. Right there. Chippy Mick Chipper. Got uh, some 
tennis courts back here. Good place to get some exercise. I love tennis. I lived by some over in Emerald Meadows a couple years ago, but I think Gemma, whose balls are making you go crazy, eh? I wanna play some tennis. Play some tennis. Come on, let's go, Jim. Let's keep her moving. Let's keep her moving. Trails branching off all around here. Tennis. There's some kids over there, so I won't bother filming them. <laughs> Try to keep the camera level, but Gemma loves to pull. She's a puller. Loves to pull, pull, pull. You can go up this way. You can go up this way. That leads to another diamond. I think we're just gonna go down here. Keep this trail walk uh, running here. Show you some more trail action here. This isn't like far off from where I live, but ooh, squirrel crossing ahead. Still, very nice areas. Great trails to walk. You never can never really run out of trails around Canada. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Squirrely? We see you in there. We see you in there, eh, Jim? <laughs> we gotta stay on the path there, Jim. Ooh, this interesting door. This interesting door. In the middle of this path. This little red squirrel. Oh, he's taking off. I see ya. I see ya. <laughs> you don't often come over here, eh, Jim? You don't often come over here to this part. Ooh! Birds are having a, their own congregation as well. They say, hey, oh, come on. Don't run. Look at the size of this tree. That's a monster right there. Tree beard. Tree herder. Shepherd of the forest. Come on up, buddy. There we go. Follow this bird out of the trail. Ooh, a hole there. Some chalk. Ooh. See? See? We've led you out. Oh, itchy. Taking a nice warm walk, eh, Gemma? Look, Halloween's a coming. It's a nice stock of corn. I think it's more decor. <laughs> right here on the corner of Pickford Drive, it appears some hooligans have either broken, cracked, or smashed out the other sides of the sign. And you can see the light bulb in there as well. Damn ruffians, hooligans, how disrespectful, disrespectful to Pickford. Look, the one left. I guess that's the only one you need though. Corner of Pickford and DiCarlo. <clears throat> I'll take it up this sidewalk. Take it to another forest path over here. Gemma leading the way. That way Gemma can gather up a little more shade. And we can show some more trail action. Oh, squirrel over here. Just jumped into the tree. Ooh, he's a quick one. You're a quick one, fella. You're a quick one. 
Remember, Gemma, don't be a litter bug. Anybody's guess what we find down this path? Hey. People. People. Take my glasses off here, so right. Okay. <laughs> Fly in my mouth. It's a nice forest. Little little bit of shade. A little bit of shade, eh, Jim? <laughs> she says, not enough. They need need some air conditioning in this forest. Or a drinking fountain. <laughs> Where are the fountains around here? There's no way to run a forest. Exit there. Keep going. Ooh, I'll have to take that down there. I don't want to keep Gemma out here too, too long. Remember, Gemma, stay away from poison ivy. Leaves a three. Let it be. Now that's just, come on, don't be a litter bug. A Dorito bag. Just puts their Dorito bag in the forest. I love walking trails next to the flies. It's the sounds of nature. And jam a panting. You make it? Yeah, you're doing okay. There's a couch back there somewhere. I've seen it before. Maybe that was another trail. Bring it out now. Bring it out. This bird just chilling over here. Yeah, my, you're gonna scare it. These are some big rocks. The size of these. Where I did another video and there was a kid climbing on it. It was this one over here. Not this one I'm showing right now. Should be pretty tricky to climb. But this one. He was climbing on this one. And maybe we'll go into there in a second. Check this out. I like these. Rocks are cool. They just put them here. People's enjoyment. And people write stuff on them. Their names or this person put poop times, poop times, and pop. <laughs> Makiska. Some big rocks. Just <laughs> looking for shade, eh? I'll just take a little bit of shade down here. Come here, Jim. Come over here. Side of the big rocks. More of these apple trees. These things are everywhere this summer. I've never seen so many apple trees in one summer. Though I hadn't actually gone and looked. I'll go back through the shade here. Apples everywhere. You gotta be careful. Careful. Be stumbling on apples. Apple scrumping. Apples everywhere. Don't touch it, Gemma. Apples, 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 apples. Ooh, and someone's dirty COVID mask. Letting you enjoy some of the silence. 
a nice hot summer walk, but you don't have to feel the heat. As long as you're watching this from your television, in the air conditioning, or on your phone or computer in the air conditioning. Because it is hot. See you, Gemma? She's okay, she's okay, she'll make it. But it's hot. I love it, I love the heat. Brave in myself, so once I hit Cali soon, my body will be completely used to it. Let ourselves out again. Out again. <laughs> By the berry bushes. Yeah. Yes, making our way back. We're gonna go under these power lines. Taking power line hills back, buddy. trees over here. Tomato trees. There are little tomatoes growing off this tree right by this garbage can. Jeez. Are those little tomatoes? Maybe it's, I don't know, it's part of the tree. I've never seen <laughs> tomatoes growing off a tree. My question is, are these orange berries that resemble little batches of pumpkins, are they edible? What do you think, dog? Take a little pop? Huh? Like little pumpkins. Right. Tighter quarters over here. Stay to the middle of the path, Jim. No little suckers nipping at you. Still have many paths to explore around here. This part of town. I can't go so, so deep on the trails with the dog. Let's go this way. Oh, maybe I should have taken the left-hand path. You know, entombed. See? Let you out again. It is hot. I'm sweating. Ooh, I'm sweating. It feels good though. Doesn't it feel good, Jim? No. No, no, it doesn't. Heading back to water. Can't slow down. Flies just gonna bite me. Ever living crap. We walk all day long, don't we, Gemma? It's good to be out. Can't do it in the winter time. Not in this country. Making me spin around. Bird on the path. Whenever you hear me go, Phew. that's because there's flies in my face. <laughs> if you were wondering, anybody watching was wondering. <laughs> there's the bunny. Oh, he's scurrying. He's scurrying. No. He's running back this direction. Okay, bunny. Come on over here, bud. He's 
right behind that tree. There he is. Over there by the fence. Up oh, there he goes. Darn. Darn. Oh, he's in the backyard. Still see him over here. Right by the hedge there. What's up, bunny? Come on, pal. There you are. Always stop to film a bunny. <laughs> Even with flies biting my eyeball. It's a bunny. Look at him. Cute fella. Cute fella. All right. Goodbye, bunny. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna press on. Go on, dude. Gonna press on. He's still waiting over there. <laughs> yeah, acorn alley, Jim. Don't eat these acorns. Don't eat them. I think they're edible, but still don't eat them. Lots of squirrels. Bunnies out. Trying to get some more bunny action. Fading away in the distance. I hope the camera's picking up that setting sun. I've been filming it for over a minute now. Exactly right, Jim. This guy does kind of look like Orange Sherbert. Sorbet. A sorbet sky. Yeah. A sorbet sky. As I approach this treehouse again, I think I put one in the <laughs> in one of the last episodes. There's actually lights. I don't technically, you know typically traverse around in the evening so when things light up I'm not usually around to see it but check that out swat the flies away while I get you a shot look at that, look at that railing now that's a tree house I would have wanted to hang in stand by me tree house wow look at that we lit that sucker up yeah. It's a treehouse party up in here. Come on, Jim. If you look at the way that these people have soiled their lawn here, with actual soil, it's almost like a man reaching out to the right, looking to the right, or to his left. Perspective now. Sun sets in the distance. Say bye, Jim. Goodbye.
Goodbye. Another bunny right over there. There in front of the hedge. A little bunny. Good guy. Okay. We're not coming near, we're walking by. Look at him there. He's holding his ground. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes, his cotton tail. Yamma. Yamma. Didn't get far enough, did you, pal? You're right here. Okay. Look at that. He's right here in front of me. Oh, there he goes. All right, we'll let him go. Look at these nice flowers. That's a good bunny sighting. Evening time. Evening time. It's time to get sights for the cute little bunnies. All right. Gotta get home, huh? This house here, as much as any other house in the city of Ottawa, embraces Halloween. So much so, they already have this light up. I mean, it's pretty Halloween-esque, light, but... Purple, blue, purple, blue, green, red. Let's signify Halloween is coming. Wait till you see this place on Halloween. Decorations all the way from the end of the laneway, all the way up. And race people coming up and taking a look, so I can't wait to cover that. It's quite a few houses that go all out, but like a preview this colored light that's cool that's cool it's like a colored orb look at that very good can't wait till halloween and we do not have long to wait